Literacy grows and develops in meaningful contexts, when students have a need to know and a reason to communicate. Their ability in spoken and written language is vital for confidence and self-esteem. It affects a student's progress at every level. This is one of the underpinning beliefs in the creation of Keylinks. It is essential that students have a balanced reading program, where there is opportunity for both shared and independent reading. At the earlier levels of Keylinks, we focused on students learning to read. Now with Keylinks fluency, we have more of a focus on reading to learn. Keylink supports a busy teacher by providing in-depth teaching opportunities throughout each book. Okay, so what do we think the story's going to be about? I think the girl throwing the panini and it's going to land on her dad's head. Read the page to yourself. Okay, so what, what does soggy mean? Well, dripping with wetness. What do you think Sky's going to do now? She's going to try the panini. How do you know that Sky's mum cared about her? What I want you to do is find the words that make you think that. If you don't like sandwiches, I'll make you a panini. It is important that during the guided reading lesson, students are given opportunities to practice their comprehension strategies. They must be asked a variety of different types of comprehension questions. So do you think it's a fair school rule? Yes. Why do you think it's a fair rule? If they didn't like their sandwiches, what were in it, they would just throw it in the bin. So what picture do you get in your head when you read flies humming like helicopters? Flies without wings, instead they have got a propeller on top of their head. OK, so let's, what we're going to do now is we're going to sketch that picture that we have in our heads from reading that sentence, OK? Sketching reinforces the visualisation and provides a further opportunity for oral language. So how do you think the problem might be solved, Ivan? Um, she could be cleaning up her room fast. It is important that when students have been asked to predict, that they are also required to revisit their predictions after they have read the appropriate text. Were your predictions right about what Sky was going to do? Yes. Why were they right? Because um, I said she would make sure Mum wasn't out there so she could throw her panini out the window. Yeah, what, what was the consequence of Sky throwing that panini? It smashed the window. At the fluency level, students need to continue to practice the fluency of reading. This includes flow, phrasing, pacing and intonation. Sky, she said, you are sleeping in a rubbish tip. Keeling's fluency extends the reading review of the earlier levels. The reading review consists of a focus on the characters and a further comprehension strategy where students make text-to-self and text-to-text -text connections. It focuses on word spotting, where students are asked to find such things as adjectives, verbs and nouns in context. As well as this, the reading review consists of word work, where students are asked to focus on such things as phonic knowledge, phonemes, suffixes and prefixes. Teachers need to use their discretion and their professional judgement. Not everything in the focus panel needs to be covered, that is for sure. They, have, they are the best ones, they know their children and the needs of the children in their group. And so the, the focus panel is just there for a guide. They take out of it what they need to teach that group that day. This is a narrative and the narrative has an introduction to the story. Okay? And the introduction can tell the, or tells the reader who is in the story. So who's the story about? Sky. Where's the story set? At school. New to Keeling's fluency is the writing review. This allows students an opportunity to review the text, but this time with a focus on how the text form is structured and the tools a writer uses to construct a text. Before students can write in different text forms, they will need to have read good examples of these forms. It is also very important that they are given many opportunities for oral language, using these text forms as models and he charged it a giraffe and a zebra. Why did he charge it everybody? Because he doesn't like anybody in his space. In order to reinforce the students' learning about the structure of the text form, provide them with examples of other books within the same genre. Students will work independently to locate the features of the text form.
We have provided a graphic unique to each text form at the back of every fluency book. This graphic is a visual help to highlight the structure. It is new to Keylinks fluency. Orange and turquoise are the first stage of introducing students to the text form. At the purple and gold levels, however, they are now encouraged to write for themselves using the graphic as a planning guide. Keylinks Fluency has a focus on gathering information on readers' comprehension skills. This information is essential for further learning instruction. Snake was Danny's pet. He liked having a snake for a pet. Teachers are increasingly being asked to measure their students' reading achievements against standards and benchmarks. Keylinks Toolbox provides in-depth data gathering to ensure that these standards are met. While students may well be good decoders, often their comprehension is not at the same level. How do you know Kim didn't open her bag at Danny's house? Um, because um, because um, the snake might slither into the bag. So Michael, can you sum up your key links experience? It's been wonderful. From, from the start of um, using the books in the classroom, um, I think the kids have responded um, not only to the illustrations but also to the text. Also I've had great uh, parent feedback because they've been able to see what teachers are trying to do in a guided reading session and able to sort of follow it up um, at home independently with, with their children. And also um, I'm really looking forward to going forward um, next year and, and hopefully we can start getting them in the red and the um, green and blue series and looking forward to having them running across the board um, in all my groups. Also it's just there and it's easy for me to instead of flicking back to the back of the book the questions are there so I can glance down and if I just need a reminder or a prompt during a, a guided reading session then they're, they're there handy for me to use. Keylinks is groundbreaking. It's been released now into the market, complete with fluency levels as well. You've already released connectors into the market with incredible success. The, both those programs are so relevant to today's, not only today's teachers, but today's learners. We just want to know, Jill, what's next? What's next from Jill Eggleton? Well, I believe that we need to hold on to what we know works for, in teaching students to read. But you know, the world changes. Teachers cha teaching changes, mm. students change, and so what was relevant five years ago might not be relevant for today's students. Mm. So I guess my answer to that question is to keep our roots firmly grounded, but never stop growing new branches. Mm.